to marine life. Today marine life where we love the ocean, everything ocean, fish tanks. We got some exciting new toys. Well, the equipment I should say. My skimmer has been overflowing for a little while, so I decided to upgrade to a new skimmer. I got a great deal on this skimmer on BRS. Oh, we got an open box. Uh, it's bigger than what I have. Hopefully it'll help control. So today I'm gonna unbox it. Um, I always look for good deals. Things are expensive for saltwater tank when you want quality stuff, it's not cheap. And there's some other good stuff in here that we'll get to in a minute on this other box here. So I guess you can say it's kind of Christmas in October. So let's go ahead and open this big bad boy and we're gonna set it up. Not today, probably tomorrow we'll set it up. Well, at least we can open it, take a look what comes in it that way. I'm not unboxing it and then trying to record it, so I haven't opened it yet. It just got here today. The cool thing about BRS is that when you get stuff from them, open box, they have gradings on it. This is a grade A, so that means there's nothing should be missing on here, it should be complete. Oh, that's pretty cool. Oh. Look what it says. Stop. <laughs> no. If you, have, if you have troubles with assembly, missing parts, or need technical support, contact Coreview before returning this product to the store of purchase. That's pretty cool. This one comes with a Vero 6 in it. And it's a DC pump versus what I don't have now. It's not DC, so. All kind of parts here. Wow. It's heavy duty. Silence some tubes. Look at that. Okay, it's part of the pump here. All right, let's see if we get a sucker built. It's a lot of small parts in here. Interesting. A few moments later. The last skimmer I have, about a second hand. Not a second but it was really, really used. This one's my first, like, new. Wow. And this is a big boy compared to what I have. And this was actually rated for my tank. This is rated for a 185 for a big bio load. And if you kind of see in my tank, I'm pretty good. I had a lot of uh, algae in the bottom of the glass. So I'm hoping it's gonna take all the ish out of my tank. Like I said, this is ready for 185, heavy bio load. I'm a heavy feeder. I got a lot of tangs, especially Achilles, and try and keep the, the water as clean as possible. And that's what may be happening with my other skimmer was that I couldn't keep up with the uh, bio load that I had. It's too small. I think it's ES7. Yeah, ES7 is the model on it. But, I mean, this is massive compared to what I have. You know what? Let's hook this up today. I said we'd do it. So let me build this thing together and let's compare it to the new to the new one side by side with the old one. Let's get the sucker installed today. Alright guys, so here's the skin. I'm gonna put it together real quick. It kinda of comes built already. But it's a couple steps that we gotta to get to. Apparently. Yep. So it came built like this, I gotta take it apart again to be able to uh, fix this bottom piece. Here's the instructions say. So. A few moments later. This is actually the Elite. I got this one because it has the uh, shut off on it if the skimmer cake gets too full. And I time pounds the other one was this overflowing. So. It'll overflow and it would uh, foam up and foam back, back into the tank. Oh, I forgot one. Oh, 
So I guess this goes in the middle. So this is supposed to be, yep, right there. Hooked on there. Hours later. That's the middle one. Just before we tighten up, we gotta make adjustments to it. So that's backwards. So I'm showing it's supposed to go into the hole here. So it has to be in a higher level. So the pump can stall there. So this one actually goes. Yep. This. Oh, okay. So this is beside even the bubble plate it's supposed to be at a different angle. Got it. So it shows the bubble plate supposed to be over here. Oops. I got done a second. That wasn't good. Few inches later. Control box. So it hooks it to the pump here in the side. There it goes. They line the holes there. According to what the picture's showing. So the thing is that this is big enough where we can actually put it here and then we can tighten it down. My hand fits in there. A few moments later. Well, this is a massive one compared to mine. This part that goes here, see so if I find it. There is a little tube goes in there and then a gasket. So water inlet part. Bingo. And it screws right in. Looks pretty easy to me. It's not too hard, so just gotta find the parts. Go there. Massive skimmer cup that locks in. Man, this is like a tank. This only thing is, is gonna fit in my tank? I don't even know. I guess we'll find out. One eternity later. So here's a part that goes for the. Uh, the pump itself. And we got these parts. Pump parts everywhere here. So. I'll assume this part goes somewhere like this for the pump to go into. According to what the instructions showing me. Yes. And there's a little seal. This is a seal. Turn it around. Second. All right. So this seal's gonna go in here. Just like that.
So I'm trying to figure it out. Just pushing it all the way in. There it goes. Yeah, so it takes a little bit of a little bit of force to align it to. Just get the cup off. So I can get my hand in there. There it goes. Kind of squeeze it in there. All right. That's how it goes. Cool. And then we have a little seal here, I guess. Yeah. So guys, this is Skimmer. I finished it. it. Wasn't too hard. I actually rinsed it as well. The only thing is, I was trying to figure out where this went. I finally figured it out. It has it go inside the tube and it connects to the silencer right up here. And the silencer sits like that. This is for the Ozone. Um, here's a box. And then the uh, sensor for the trip is right up here. When the cup gets filled up, it goes up and it stops it from working, shuts off the pump. That way, it doesn't overflow like my old skin has been doing. Um, got a lot of work to do still to hook it up tonight. As you can see, here's a picture of my old one, a video of my old one. It's pretty full, gotta empty it out. What I'm concerned about is room. I may have to adjust that for the. Um, where the divider comes out because I'm not sure if it's gonna fit with that or not. But we're gonna try it out to see. But I gotta run wires all the way up there to the corner to be able to connect it, pull this one out, and I'll do a, a comparison half uh, side by side. So you see the huge difference in the size of this monster that I'm doing. But all right, let's get started. Real quick before I do the skimmers. This is the other box I got from BRS. Ordered a couple other things that I'll be doing at the same time. Actually, one of them has to do with the skimmer. So. The goodies here. Man, they really pack this box up. So, what I got here was a CO2 scrubber. up one of these pumps not for my ATO but for my carbon I'm trying to eliminate some spots on my Neptune apex so this goes directly into the uh, the bar we'll have to take a spot up so I added something else to it I'm gonna use this little pump even though I have carbon right now to run the carbon to keep you know stuff out of my tank and make the water clear so this will be going as well, along with the CO2 scrubber, and I'll show you guys what that looks like. The CO2 scrubber is used for the pH. You connect it to the uh, skimmer to make your pH be where it should be, because my pH stays pretty low, like a 7.7, .7. should be at eight. And it's not up there, so I'm trying to get it up there as much as I can. Let's get working. So I took, uh, you can see the size differences massive difference of a size so fingers crossed as we try to put the uh, skimmer into there you can see all my wiring there is pretty 
big project to have this done. So I hope it's worth all the trouble. So, all right, in it goes. All right, guys, so it's late, but I finally got it in there. Took everything out. Got the uh, carbon set up with the little Piedmont pump version two. There's a skimmer. Look at already collecting stuff already. It's a, it barely fit. If I have to, I can always move this back to the slot here. So this you can shift that out more to give more room. It's the best thing about this reefers. But it's pretty tight in there. So I'll see how it performs. And if I have to, I'll switch it over. There's a little control box for it down there, the white one. But that's it for this video. I'll give an update in the future how it's doing. But it's in there, it's pumping, it's pretty big. I said it's tight. It won't, you can't turn from there. It's just, that's it. That's all she's got. So it's snug. Thank you for watching Marine Life, guys. Please subscribe. Got any questions? Don't forget to hit the notification bell. Have a good day.